Anime of the Year 2023. Now I've been getting a lot of questions saying what I think is the anime of the year this year. Um, what I think is, you know, JJK, One Piece, Villain Saga, and all the other stuff, AOT and stuff. But y'all, you know, I've been asking what I think. So I did a top 10 list. I think I did this last year too. Um, but yeah, I got y'all this one. And I was actually doing like another video to this, uh, but it got scrapped, unfortunately. I, well, not scrapped. It might get postponed to like next year and stuff. But uh, y'all see that when that drops. But I was like, I got to end this year off with something with the video, bro, because I've been doing a lot of videos, you know, scripting and stuff. It's a lot. So I was like, man, might as well do like this little anime of the year stuff. I got a top 10 list right here. It's actually kind of quick that I made this. Yeah, I didn't think, I thought it was going to be a little harder, but nah. Plus, I just did my top 50 anime list, too. <sighs> I've been doing a lot of stuff, man. So let's go and get this video out the way with. And hopefully, by a miracle, that top 50 anime list could be out in this year, like probably New Year's Eve or some shit. We'll see. If not, then definitely beginning of next year. I say that. All right. Now, honorable mentions. Zom 100. Now, this could have been top 10 if it was for that damn delaying, bro. That sucked. But every episode I watched was damn near spectacular. But, like, you know, I kind of got I fell behind on it because of the constant production issues and stuff and them delaying it. So, um, I just got to, you know, I got to catch up and finish it, too. But, yeah, Zom 100. Uh, next one is Pluto. I watched the first two episodes and they was, oh, my God. They were so damn good. But... It was a little long for me. I'm talking about like hour long episodes and I, I didn't really finish it. I think I gotta catch it back up on it too because I got caught up with some other stuff. But it happened. So yeah, um next we got Blue Lock season two. Well part one, season one. No, I'm sorry, part two, season two. Ah Part two of season one. There we go. Yeah, the, uh it finished I think in March this year. And um it was still great, you know, it just didn't make the list, but uh it was you know it's pretty good. I love how like the tournament style, like when you lose you get to still one play and stuff. I thought that was pretty dope. If you want me to talk about this more, watch my blue lock video about the end of it. It's pretty good. Go watch it. And last but not least, we have uh let me see, uh Demon Slayer season three. Oh, and I'm sorry, one more one. Undead Unluck. Almost made the list, but it didn't. It was like number eleven. Still a damn good show. I love it. And Demon Slayer, I top one of my top fifty anime list. But just know that I thought the season was uh cool at the most. Uh, I love the ending though with Nezuko. I love her. <laughs> Compared to season two, that banger of a season. Season three just didn't live up to the hype a little bit to me. And yeah, so now start the top ten of animes of twenty twenty three. Now this is just animes that came out this year. Cause if this was animes that I watched, then it would be a different list. But this is just came out this year. And by the way, this is my preference, my list. This is why I think animes that I like the most this year. I'm not doing this objectively. Is that the case? Then so many of these animes would be like number one because of the hype alone. So yeah. But let's start with number ten is My Hero season six part two Vigilante Decker arc. And I, I talk about his art so damn much. So go check out my other videos and see why I say it. But just know, man. I love how it did it in the anime. Now, I will say that, of course, the manga artwork is, you know, amazing. So it's kind of hard to, you know, put that to anime. But damn, like the fights and the way they just showed Deku how he was just going through it. And the whole society as my hero as like Fallen, a dark it got. They did it so good, in my opinion. And I don't care what the haters say. At number nine, we got Oshinokeo or Oshinoko. Um, I love this show so much. And the fact that this is an anime about drama, TV scandals, and like just well apparently you know killings and stuff like it's just it gets hella dark but there's also some light at the end of the tunnel and even though people don't like how like it went from killing murder mystery to like this you know tv drama slice of life anime you know i love slice of life so when it went to that i actually loved it but i've got to know more about the characters kana and other ones like i love you know ruby and his sister like they are great and it just, the way they flourish these characters and that, that reality TV arc, that shit was dope, man. Oh, it was dark, but it was dope. And yeah, I love it. And that end of the song, like, B, K. Ah, oh, I love it. I love the song. You know, it got me dancing and shit. I love Oshino Keio. And yeah, probably because I love Love of War so much. So, but you know, it's cool. I love both of them. I can't choose between the two. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right, eight, we got Bleach season two. Well, core two. That's gonna get a blower arc. Now, um, this is what I remember from reading from the manga. I think this is like my least favorite core of this arc or part of this arc, you know, cause well, it was just, you know, it was fights and stuff, but like it wasn't anything like too crazy, but it did have some good ass moments, especially in the anime. I'm glad they emphasized it too. And Shinji fight, Kenpachi fight, um, Yodorichi came back, yes sir. Um, Ichigo arrival, Rukia, my favorite episode of the uh, whole core, Rukia's Bankai. And her fight against North, bro, oh my God, bro. That shit was so damn good. And the ending, bro, 
Ichibe versus Yavat. They did that shit just as and we just getting started, bro. Oh my god. Plus the anime only scene with the uh Bankai that the four uh I forgot the name, but like the basically the most powerful niggas in the whole soul society. They showed their Bankai and that shit was beautiful. The way the episode direction of each episode was amazing. And yeah, but it's number eight on this list. Number seven is Heavenly Delusion. This is some people at anime of the year, which I completely understand. I get it. I honestly get it. It definitely deserves, you know, uh, that spot. But I think because the rest, uh, I just got a little bit above it. You know what I'm saying? I felt a little more towards the series uh, above this one. But this show is still too damn good, bro. Like, it came in, and each episode I was watching, and I just kept on watching. I was hooked since the first episode. And uh, I feel like I experienced watching this too. God flies with the characters and what they was going through and stuff. But damn, did that shit get dark, man. And, like, it got crazy dark. Oof. But, like, I'm glad it represented all the whole, you know, how the world is having delusion. And I love the uh, fact that kids in the little dome area, we got to see them, like, grow up. It felt like a um, later version of them in um, in the future. And I didn't realize that till I finished the anime, and I was like, damn. Oh, my God. And I, I just can't wait to know what's going to happen in the future of this anime. Oh, my God. I might read the manga, too. So, Heaven Delusional is that show, man. Go check it out. And watch my videos about that, too. Number six is Free Run, Beyond's Journey's End, and uh, I think I love this show at this point, bro. I watched it some more, and it's my comfort show of 2023, low key. <laughs> and watch my video about it where I talk the beauty of the whole Free Run anime. And yeah, I go more in depth than that, but like, is this people anime of the year too? Like, great pick, I understand. Number five is AOT. Now, I know it's like, you know, you saying like, what is this low? Hear me out. Only because the two episodes came out this year, both was amazingly peak, but the you know other four got like some more bangers and stuff. But um, this is all of season four, or oh, easily be number one, easily number one. And this is part two, number one, easily. I think I said last year, AOT part season four, part two. <laughs> it was uh, anime of the year for me last year. A video about that too. I'm sorry, I, all these I did videos on. Y'all can go watch it. I'm just you know plugging the video, but yeah, man, AOT. I missed the show already, man. Uh, oh god, I had a dark ending. Um, number four is. Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Now, I know I'm probably gonna get hate for this. I don't care, uh, but y'all seen the videos I did in this shit too. Like, Season 2 Shibuya, I love it, And but I gotta be real with myself. I love literally 90% of it. There were, the other 10% I didn't like, cause you know, the animation was like, you know, off sometimes, and plus like, the whole story, so I'm nitpicking, so I, you know, it can't be like a perfectly art for me, but like, it was damn near perfect though. But that's why it deserves a spot right here, cause like, man, the anime, y'all seen the videos I did, man. Those are clear examples of what anime could do. Peak, peak fiction. Number three is a show that you all should watch. This show came in and blew me away again. I didn't think that it would. Link Click season two was perfection. The fact that it switched up its flow in season one and became like a different genre, like, like a murder mystery. But the way they did it, the storytelling that shit made it so goddamn good. Each week had me in the chokehold. <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck was gonna happen. It's always a new plot twist. Always a new character come in, just like fucking shit up. And bro, animation peak, fights peak, visuals peak, OST, music, ending, opening, peak, fiction. Now I'm saying all that, but it's not number two or one, but damn, it deserves a spot right here. It had to be top three. If y'all haven't watched the show, please watch it. Stop sleeping on this underrated masterpiece, man. It is goddamn perfect, bro. That's number three. Number two, and I'm, I'm gonna do number two and number one at the same time. So number two is technically enemy of the year if you don't want to count number one, but I don't care, it's my list, I'm counting it. Uh, number two is Villain Saga, season two. And number one is One Piece. Y'all should have seen this coming. You know I'm a One Piece dick writer, you know? Like, come on, it's one of my favorite animes of all time, like, of course. But nah, even then, I had to that later. But uh, season two of Villain Saga, I talked more about it in my top 50 anime list, so that's coming soon. But just know it changed my view of Villain Saga, and like it bumped up so high in my list. Season two blew me away, and it changed my perspective of life. When it does that, you're at the top, man. Like, I'm never forgetting this shit, bro. <laughs> anime of the year, One Piece to me, because, like, bro, as a One Piece fan, I've been talking about the whole cultural impact, because, like I mentioned, you know, live action, um, the remake, manga, and stuff. But I'm sticking to the anime. Bro, I get it, the pacing was ass. Y'all say it every fucking week of the year. But see, what I do with One Piece is I literally stack up episodes and I just binge it. And that's what I did with the raid and the whole fights and, you know, the rooftop piece. And literally, bro, episode after episode, it shit 
was amazing, bro. I don't care about how like the slow this shit gets. I'm there watching it, enjoying it. Here's my binging experience. That's how I view and watch One Piece, you know, by stacking up. And uh, I think it made it like a better experience for me this year. Yeah, I could be wrong, but didn't like episode 10, 15 come out this year? If it didn't, nah, I'm sorry, but uh, even I think I know ever since the episode, you can see how good that One Piece anime could be. The fact that it's like you know a weekly anime for the whole year and stuff like that. The fact that each month you'll get like a 10 out of 10 episode or like to sometimes two times a month, 10 out of 10 bangers. And like to me, I, I think it takes away from like the you know the bad episodes. Like of course they are there. But like 10 out of 10 episodes, like it just, man, the fact that every month you're gonna get like a banger episode and like niggas would just talk about it for like a long ass time. And the quality, y'all know, man, all One Piece fans know that we got quality episodes. Like, bro, just watching TikToks about, you know, the animation for 2023 from One Piece, y'all see what I'm talking about, bro. That shit is God tier. It is so good. And made me enjoy Wano so much more. <sighs> Peak fiction, bro. So that's my anime of the year, anime of the year list of 2023. Um, like I said, if you don't want to count One Piece, because y'all, you know, got rules apparently, uh, Villain Saga will be anime of the year for me, but I'm counting One Piece. So yeah, that's my list. Comment down below what you think about the list. Uh, you can tell me your own down below in the comments. Actually, you know what? Tell me your own. I want to see what y'all got. Tell me your top five animes of this year, or what you consider anime of the year. And yeah, and that being said, if I don't drop another video this year, Happy New Year, and uh, see y'all 2024, man. New year, new goals. Let's get it, man. Whoa, whoa. And new anime. Let's go. Whoa, whoa.